I am Jalen Barbie, a software engineer at Microsoft, and I am here to make sure that you are set up for the Dev Drive Challenge. This is part one of three of the Windows Dev Drive educational series, three useful facts about Dev Drive. One, Dev Drive uses the resilient file system. This boosts data integrity, increases scalability for big projects, and improves performance for large file systems. Two, you should only put source files, build outputs, and such or package caches on your dev drive. You can see here in the root of my dev drive, I only have my source folder. And depending on your project, you might have node modules, NuGet packages, or even pip packages. These are also okay to be included on your dev drive. However, you should not have dev tools like MS Build, Visual Studio, or .NET or Windows SDK on your dev drive. These can live on your C drive. Three, on eligible devices, you can set up and begin using DevDrive in less than five minutes. The minimum requirements are Windows 11 version 23H2. It is recommended that you have 16 gigabytes to memory, but eight gigabytes will do as the minimum, and you need a minimum 50 gigabytes of free disk space. Learn how to get set up in our next video and participate in the DevDrive Challenge.